Welcome to the Lipper Technical Training Institute. My name's Chet Dillenbeck, and today we're going to be talking about the PSX-1. Uh, this is a stabilizer jack. We've already removed it from the packaging, so I'm going to set the box aside, and we'll talk about what comes in the kit. So with the PSX-1, what you get is you get your mounting hardware, you get a 6-amp mini breaker, you get a wall switch. This is intended for either internal or external use, dependent upon what you need. Um, and then you also get a box for the wall switch. If you're planning on mounting this on the exterior of the unit, you will need to drill a hole in the sidewall and then fish the wires up through. And this will be mounted in the wall and then the switch will be mounted inside. All right, so we've talked briefly about this. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll move out to the unit and we'll start the installation. Okay, so now we're at the unit, we're going to measure the approach and the departure angle. The approach and the departure angle basically shows us where we need to mount the jacks if you don't have a pre-installed bracket. What this means is it prevents the jack from making contact with the ground when you're towing down the road. So I'm going to have Bill hold the rope at the base of the tire. I'm going to grab the other end and I'm going to go to the farthest point on the travel trailer, which is my hitch. And this is going to help me determine where I need to be. Everything on the approach and departure angle, the jacks have to be above this. If they're below this, they can cause problems and I could damage my stabilizers. Now that we've done the front, we're going to turn around. Bill's going to go to the back of the unit, hold it at the bumper. And that's going to show us where we need to mount the rear stabilizers as well. All right, so with this done, now we know where we have to mount them. Like I said, on this unit, we already have pre-installed brackets. So we'll go ahead and we're going to move to that and get that taken care of. Okay, so now we've measured our approach and departure angle. We're ready to install the stabilizer. This particular unit already has a pre-installed bracket for this. Uh, if it did not have one, we would have to drill holes in the frame itself so that we could put the appropriate hardware in here. So all I'm going to do is take a 12-volt battery. And I'm simply going to run this, use this to power the jack. I've got Bill on the opposite side to help me stabilize this as we go up. All right. All right, so I've got it right about where I need it. I want to have a little bit of room when I do this because I will have to shift this side to side. So once I get this up here, I simply align it with the pre-installed holes or the holes that I had or the holes I would be drilling. I take my drill. I've got my appropriate hardware and my tools. We're going to take this, drop through the top of the bracket, and loosely fit it. Put the nut on the bolt loosely so that it holds it in place. Now that once I have that installed, I can simply come in here. I will have Bill do the other side and then we'll come back and tighten it. Okay, so Bill's got his side secured. So I've got two bolts holding it in on each side. I need to add the last two because you need four bolts per side of the PSX-1 to hold it into position. So I'm going to come up here. We're going to install this. And we'll do the same on this side. Okay, so we've got them all installed. Now we're simply going to come in here and we're going to tighten all these down. Okay, so now that we've got this installed, all we have to do is wire it. Bill went ahead and, had the, and pulled the wires for me. So these go to the switch. We're going to locate the switch for this particular jack on the inside of the unit. So now all I need to do is strip these wires. And 
It is recommended that you, whether you're using butt connectors or you're using wire nuts, that you use something that is weather resistant. We want to prevent moisture from getting into these wires and causing damage to the wires themselves. All right, so now I've got that. All I'm going to do is take these and I'm going to wire nut them together. In this instance, I am using a weather resistant wire nut, one that's designed to be out in the elements. And then we'll tuck these up into the underbelly once this is installed. All right, and now all I have to do is tuck these up in and secure them in position and we are good to go. At this point, you'd also want to make sure to reattach your underbelly so that it is secure in its location. Now we're going to install the mini breaker. I've already pre-drilled the holes here, so all I need to do is take the mini breaker and get it attached into position. Now with the mini breaker, you don't necessarily have to mount this on the exterior. If you run the wires through a cargo bay, you can install this into the cargo bay and just as long as it's secure. So now we're gonna connect our wires. Uh, this is the wire that goes directly to the battery. This needs to go to the copper colored terminal on the mini breaker. We'll slide that in. We'll attach the nut. Whoops, I dropped it. Now using a 3 8 wrench, we're going to come in here and we're going to tighten this up so it's nice and secure. If you have a nut driver, that will work as well. Now we're going to attach the one that leads directly to our switch. This goes on the silver auxiliary side. Now we're inside the unit, we're gonna go ahead and get the switch connected. I already have the wires pulled. These will go to my battery. Once I'm done installing the switch, I'll go outside, connect the battery so I have power on the inside. The other, one, other set go directly to the stabilizer jack. So what we're gonna do on this one is you simply take the red wire and you connect it to the red wire here. Make sure your wire nuts are good and tight so that they do not come loose. Take your black wire. I'm sorry, your white wire. My apologies. Black wire goes to the stabilizer. All right, so now power and ground is hooked up. Now I'm just gonna hook up the output side of this. Now the output side is gonna be determined by how you hook these up. So if you know which color is which, you can connect them. Um, but it's just as easy to go ahead and connect them, put power to it, and then test the switch. So we're gonna connect black to black. And we're gonna connect green to red. All right, there's the switch connected. Now we're gonna go outside, we're gonna hook up power, we'll come back in and we'll test the switch. Now that we have the power connected, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick up the switch, we're gonna hit extend. I've got somebody on the outside of the unit and it looks like the jacks are going down so we have it wired properly. I'll hit retract just to make sure all the connections are good. And he's telling me the jacks are coming up, the stabilizers. So we can go ahead and install the switch. In the event though, that it was reversed, you would simply change the two wires. You'd swap the red and the, the red to the black and the green to the black. You just switch these two. That would change your orientation of your extend and retract signal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slide these in. Being careful not to disturb the, the wire knots too much. Now 
Now that I have those installed, I'm going to slide the switch into position, making sure the orientation is right so it can be read. And I will put the screws in. All right, and that's all it takes to install a switch. Now we're gonna talk about the second option. If we don't want the switch installed in the interior, you can install it in the exterior. We have the plate that we had talked about in the unboxing. I'm simply gonna slide the switch in, snap the switch into place. You can mount two screws in here to hold it into position, but it does lock into position. Now once we have that, we're going to install it the same way. All right, so we have the red and the white. This is my power and ground coming from the battery. Black with white. That's my neutral or my ground. Red with red, power with power. And then on my output side, I have green and black. So on this particular one, my red wire is attached to my orange, so I'm gonna go orange to green on this particular one. And white to black. All right, so now I have those installed. I simply take the wires, feed them back into inside install the cover plate into the wall, and then I'll screw this into place. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use 100% pure silicone, and you simply go around the edge, leaving that bottom exposed. So you just run that along, making sure you get a good seal all the way around it. And then come back in with a rag and wipe up any excess. So let's talk about maintenance of the PSX-1. Uh, maintenance is simple. For, as far as electrical, make sure your terminals are clean. We're on your battery, make sure you have a fully charged deep cycle battery. Also, you want to make sure that the leads don't have any corrosion on them. So if the jack stops working, immediately check those connections and see if you have any type of corrosion on there. As long as you use a weatherproof connector, you should be pretty good there. Um, also, you wanna keep the jack clean it itself of dirt and debris. There is a worm gear that runs along the length of the PSX-1 that you do want to come in, wipe it off, clean it off, make sure the dirt and debris are gone, and then you're gonna to wanna to give it a light dusting of lithium spray, and then wipe off any extra residue. You don't wanna saturate it, you just wanna give it a light coating. That helps prolong the life of the PSX-1. So now we're gonna talk about manual override. We're on the opposite side of the jack, we're on the off door side. The motor's on the door side. So first thing we need to do is go over to the motor, disconnect power, which we've already done. Then you simply take manual override crank, slide it in, and with the jacks extended, we're gonna turn this clockwise to retract those jacks. That concludes the aftermarket installation of the PSX-1. Thank you very much for joining me at the Lipper Technical Training Institute. Now get out there and enjoy your RV.